Okay, now we've got the background, I'm gonna add the design features and the color. So notice how on the image there's some shading at the bottom, which looks quite effective. So I'm gonna put that onto this drawing uh, using the line tool. So make sure my grid locks back on for this function. So I'm gonna click and I click again, making sure I cross those lines over so that I am able to fill this area with color later. Any small gaps, um, and you'll get a box that, that appears saying no close boundary. And unfortunately, usually that means you've got to start again. So click those off using the delete tool. So the second one along here. Right, using the boundary fill, I can click on that. There's many different types of fill. So there's solid fill, hatch fill, graduated fill, which you can choose um, color. You can decide how you want to merge those colors. You can give a 3D effect by adding, for example, if I had another black here, I can give it that light down the middle and apply that. Many different things you can do. And you can also apply textures by clicking on load texture and you should get a box here. Atmosphere, there's so many different things you can choose from. Right, cancel. I'm gonna use a solid fill. And I'm going to go for the brown. Okay. And okay. And then okay. Right. So what I can do is to simply click on that line. And it's going to ask me any more areas to fill with the same color. Any more islands? And I press yes. Not right, the same. Again, any more islands? Yes. And I click just on the inside of the line. It will do it. And then here I can press no. That will be filled with color. Then go back into boundary fill and I'm going to fill again and I choose this time I'm going to choose a lighter color. Now there's not a lighter brown in here so I want to go to define custom colors and I can simply lighten the shade here by sliding this bar down here. Okay, okay and then okay. So now I can select this area just on the inside of the line. Yes. Any more areas with the same color? And then finally I press no. Now that only filled, especially the top part here, because we crossed those lines over and deleted them afterwards. Okay. Now, any ideas how we could produce the eyes? Um, I think I'm gonna go for, I wanna do them slightly differently. I wanna use the circle tool. So I'm going to draw my eye out here. You don't have to draw all your parts on the design straight away. And just to give that eye shape, I'm just going to bring it in five millimeters using the grid. Um, and then I'm going to boundary fill, color, white. Okay, click just on the inside of the line. Any islands? No. Repeat that process. But this time I'm just going to put a black circle in there. Now I can turn the grid lock off just to give me a bit more control when I'm resizing the circle for the pupil. That just makes it give me a bit more control. Um, again, boundary fill, color, find the black. And then I can click just on the inside of the line. Any islands? No. Now, to draw that eye again, exactly the same as I've just done, would be extremely difficult. So one quick way of doing it is to select the eye, those parts, and make a copy. You've only got to do it once, and then you can put that in. Now the mouth. Okay, let's go to the shape tool. Let's put the grid lock on for this again. And I'm gonna roughly about that size. You can resize it afterwards, but just whilst getting the basic drawing, it's sometimes useful to use the grid lock. And this time, I'm gonna show you a slightly different way of creating um, curves. So you saw the method where I use the arc tool. This is another way you can do it. 
So I'm going to draw a circle. Now, let me just draw this in an area where it's not going to affect the work I've already done. And what I want to do, I'll just stretch that a bit bigger for now. Right, so I'm going to bring this circle down to the bottom of that line there. And you can already see the shape I want to keep. So all the lines that I don't want, I just simply get rid of them. And again, I've made sure that those lines have all been crossed over so it should fill. Boundary fill, so that colour's already selected, select them out. Oh, any islands now. Again, I'm going to use the same circle function for the tongue. Put that there, just stretch that over a bit so it's a bit more symmetrical. Um, boundary fill, color, red, and then I can simply, I can't see the line, but I know it's there, so I just click on the inside of it. It'll find it for me, any islands? No. And then I can simply get rid of those bits I don't want. So by following that formula of crossing over your lines, you basically can draw anything. Don't try and patch up gaps with small lines because it just doesn't work. It just creates more problems. So you can see there, and I can turn off the grid lock for this actually, just to give myself, give myself that freedom to put this where I like. Okay, good luck and have fun.